Hey, what is up guys? You're watching Epic Pokemon TCG. In today's video, guys, what I have for you, we're going to be taking a look at a straightforward Blacephalon list. Now, if you guys missed it in the last video, I actually uploaded a video where we took a look at a Greens variation of this deck. Now, if you also check that video out, you'll notice that I was having some problems with my game crashing. Well, that has carried over in this video, unfortunately, so there will not be a gameplay in this because I don't know what's going on. But my game just keeps crashing. I apologize, but as soon as I do get a gameplay with this deck, guys, I will upload it. Uh, just like the Firebox deck, I need to upload that gameplay actually pretty quickly now that I think about it. But yeah, so that's just been one headache after another with this. And I'm actually working on getting that whole thing solved. It's going to be a lengthy process. It'll take a few weeks, but something is in the works. I promise you there. So... Yeah, I apologize. I know that could be very annoying. Uh, I'm definitely trying to step up my content for you guys. Uh, however, with what I'm working with currently, I'm just unable to do that. So I am doing my best. Hopefully you do understand. So we're going to go ahead and start this deck profile off by taking a look at Bacephalon, of course, because this is going to be our main attacker. It has the attack blazer. So basically what you can do, guys, is you do 10. You turn one of your face down prize cards face up. If it's a fire energy card, this attack does 50 more damage. Now, if you're able to hit a fire energy, this is actually a really good way for you to just kind of soften up some Pokemon or maybe get a chance to see what's prized or something like that. And we also have the attack fireball circuits. This is going to be the one you're going to be doing more than any other attack uh, just because it's it's well it's a strategy <laughs> so what you can do is you just discard any number of fire energy cards from your hand and it does 50 times for the amount of you that you discard it so this is pretty much what the whole deck is geared towards uh, we have stuff in here to help recover our hand size you know get resources back and uh, overall just without using greens we have a way to build our hand size back up and between the two, I feel like this is the one that I honestly prefer. Uh, there's just a little more flexibility with this, and you don't have to rely on, uh, I guess, like using greens to get a supporter, I would say. Uh, this is just the one I prefer anyway. Uh, the greens one is still pretty good, though. So next card we're going to take a look at is going to be Blacephalon GX. As the attack Bursting Burn, your opponent's active Pokemon is now burned and confused. So this is a really good way to kind of stall for a turn if they're not able to get out of it. Or just kind of put some special condition damage on your opponent's Pokemon to use uh, for an attack later on. Just kind of soften them up a bit. Uh, but Mind Blown, it's going to do 50 times. And what you do is you just um, you put energy attached to your Pokemon into the Lost Zone. It's going to do 50 times. Very similar to Fireball Circus, except you're doing it from Pokemon uh, on the field that energy you're attached to. Uh, this is an attack that's actually pretty decent. I mean, it's not too bad. Uh, with this deck, though, you want to be careful. You don't want to put too many in there and just like kind of mess yourself up later on. Uh, because honestly, what this card's really in here for is going to be Burst GX. You just discard one of your prize cards. If it's an energy card, you attach it to one of your Pokemon. So if you Blazer and you flip it over and it's a Fire Energy, you could just Burst GX and discard it. I mean, that's a pretty good early strategy. Uh, but really what you want to do is try to get yourself down to one prize card. And you could just search out Pacephalon or just promote it to the active spot, whatever, and just win the game. You could just Burst GX for that last prize card and you win, which is pretty solid. Uh, one of my favorite things to do. So... After this card, we're going to be taking a look at all new Pokemon. So Victini Prism Star is amazing in this deck. It is absolutely amazing. The whole strategy is you're discarding Fire Energy to the discard pile. So honestly, you're powering up the Attack Infinity, which is going to do 20 times the amount of basic energy in your discard pile, and then you shuffle them back into your deck. So like mid to late game, you're probably going to have quite a bit in there. And the cool thing about Infinity, it's going to allow you to preserve your uh, Fire Crystals and such. You don't, have, you know, you don't have to burn through those, or pun intended. Um, and honestly, depending on how many are in there, Victini can honestly score a knockout. I mean, it can score a knockout, or it can just probably just heavily damage something and get it ready for a later knockout. Uh, but yeah, Victini is just a it's another attacker, and it's a resource recovery card, which is actually pretty solid. Now, this next card, Cramorant V. The first time I read this card, I was like, okay, this is this is okay. It's pretty decent. After like just kind of messing around with it before my game crashed, because it hates me and it doesn't want me to succeed. I'm flipping you off, Pokemon TCG Online. I'm flipping you off so much. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. Uh, after playing around with it, it's actually not too bad. Uh, so, Beat Catch, if you don't get hit by Marnie or Reset Stamp, this can be a very helpful attack. You, you just search your deck for up to two cards, put them in your hand. But the next up, we have Spit Shot. I said it like that because that's my uh, second channel. We're going to plug that real quick. I do have a gaming channel if you guys want to go check that out. 
It's very vulgar. <laughs> yeah, that's in the description below. But uh, Spit Shot, what you do is you discard all energy from this Pokemon, and it's attacked as 160 to one of your opponent's Pokemon. So you can obviously snipe off the Dene. That's one of the things you can do. Uh, but with how high Pokemon's HPs are, there are going to be times where maybe you can't finish something off with Fireball Circus. So... What you can do is you can just welder two energy on the Cramorant and manually attach for turn, and then boom, Cramorant set up. And you can just spit shot, discard all that energy, and then just hit something for 160. So that's pretty good. Uh, on top of that, like you're discarding those energies, so that means you can get it back with a uh, Chorus Victini, like we just talked about, or you can get them back with a uh, Fire Crystal to set up for a future attack. Pretty solid there, but yeah, Cramorant V is just really solid of card in this deck. I like it. And the cool thing, it's a colorless attacker, so it really can be splashed into anything, which is really nice. So next up, we're going to take a look at my boy Jirachi. I love Jirachi. Such a helpful card. Uh, Stellar Wish, you just look at the top five cards. You reveal a trainer you find there, put it in your hand, and Jirachi goes to sleep. But we run a skateboard, so of course we can get past that. But we have some Jirachi in here to kind of help out with the deck as well. Uh, kind of just fish for these resources and get those to our hand. And next up, we have Zacian V. So this is in here literally for Intrepid Sword. I see this card splashed into a lot of different decks. With the new rule changes and such, this I just honestly is a really good card just to start off with. I mean, if you have it sitting on your bench, hopefully not your active spot because that might get a little awkward. We, we do run Switch, but, you know, you don't want to have it, you know, sitting up in the active spot. You have to burn a resource to get it out of there. But Intrepid Sword... You just look at the top three cards of your deck and you reveal any number of metal energy cards you find there and attach them to this Pokemon. Obviously, we don't run metal energy. Uh, so the three cards, you just put the other cards back in your hand. So this is going to be a free three cards. So this is a really good way just to kind of build your hand size up. If you're just getting molly wop to the floor, you can just use Intrepid Sword to try to get something to your hand. Uh, honestly, though, this is just a really good card overall for like really tight positions or just like in the early game. Like, you start off with it on your bench or something, you can just Intrepid Sword, get three cards to your hand, and then just kind of go from there. But yeah, this is a card that I see a lot, like, splashed in decks just for that one ability. And speaking of three cards on an ability, we have Dance of the Tribute, or Dance of Tribute, excuse me. So once during your turn before you attack, if any number, or if any of your Pokemon, I don't know where I got number there. If any of your Pokemon were knocked out during your opponent's last turn, you may draw three cards. This is very helpful, uh, but Cephalon only has 120, and sometimes Pokemon these days can just fart, and it's like 120 damage right there. So obviously your Cephalon is going to be going down pretty easily, like Mia Khalifa. So what you can do with this card is once that gets knocked out, you just pretty much dance at the tribute, build your hand size back up, and between this and Stellar Wish, it's actually a pretty good combination. So you can dance at the tribute, get three cards. Stellar Wish, and you're just kind of getting all kinds of stuff back into your hand, building up that hand size, getting those resources back, and you still have your supporter for the turn to work with. Or Choreo GX, really, really good card. I just made a Mia Khalifa joke in a Pokemon video. Oh my god, what's wrong with me? <laughs> okay, so the next card we're going to take a look at, obviously, is going to be the card powering this deck up and making it amazing, and that is going to be Welder. You attach it to two Fire Energy cards from your hand to one of your Pokemon. If you do, you draw three cards. There's a lot of three-card draw power in this deck. So you got Stellar Wish, you got Dance Attribute, and you have Welder. You're going to be getting some hand sizes going. It's going to be pretty nice. So we're going to be running four of these Welder, of course, because, well, we want to try to get these Pokemon powered up as soon as possible. And we also have a Pal Pad in here to get two of them back. So essentially you're going to be getting two or yeah, two more Welders. That's going to equal six. I can math. Uh, I can't speak, but I can math. So yeah, you're essentially going to be getting six Welder, which is really nice. Uh, next up, we're going to take a look at pretty much everything Fire Energy related. So the first card we're going to take a look at, there it is, is going to be Fiery Flint. This is essentially an Ultra Ball for four Fire Energy. You just discard two of the cards from your hand, search your deck off the four Fire Energy cards, and add them to your hand. So that is going to allow you to either get 200 damage off, because of course that's going to be 50 times, or it can set up your Walter play. And on top of that, guys, it thins your deck out and just allows you to hit those trainers a little easier. And it has great synergy with the fact that, like, if you're able to have a turn, like, let's say one of your Pacephalon go down... You promote a Jirachi, you play Fiery Flint, get four energy out of your deck, out into your hand, dance a tribute, and Stellar Wish. That's just going to be really good because you're just pulling those fire energy out, so that means you have a higher chance of hitting your items and trainers and such. It's just really nice. Next up, we have Fire Crystal. So, basically, this card is just really nice because it allows you to put three fire energy from your discard pile into your hand. If you ever have a full setup Bacephalon, this is 150 damage waiting to happen. Or this can be the two energy for Welder and the manual attachment to either Bacephalon or Cramorant. That's really nice. 
And let's see, what else? We also have energy retrieval in here. I don't know why I used this art again. I said in the last video, maybe I need to use a newer art so that way people know what card this is when they first look at it. I apologize. But yeah, this is energy retrieval. It's just like fire crystal, but you only get two back. Okay, uh, let's see. I guess ordinary rods another card we can take a look at. So you can choose one or both, uh, but it allows you to shuffle up to two Pokemon from your discard pile into your deck, or you can shuffle up to two basic energy cards from your discard pile in your deck. Or you can do both. So that means you can get like two Bicephalon and a you know a couple Fire Energy, Bicephalon and Cramorant, and two Fire Energy, whatever the combination you guys need for the matchup, you can do that. Pretty nice. Or if you have to pitch something with Fiery Flint, that could be a way to get that back. Uh, but we also have Heat Factory in here. This is going to be another way for you to draw three cards because that is the theme of this deck. whole lot of threes going on. So... Uh, basically, you just discard a fire energy, and you can draw three cards. So that's really cool. All right. Let's see. What else do we have to take a look at? So I talked about Adventure Bag. Like I said, guys, I don't know if this was the card that I was seeing on there, but it just allows you to search your deck for up to two Pokemon tool cards and put them in your hand. Uh, so that means you can target out uh, Beast Bringer. So this card's only good if you have six prize cards left. <laughs> Or, you know, you haven't taken any yet. Uh, if you have ex exactly six prize cards remaining and if your opponent's active is a GX or EX is knocked out by damage from an attack of the Ultra Beast this card is attached to, the Cephalon, uh, take one more prize card. I really hope I didn't say in the last video that you can Beast Bringer a Jirachi and get another prize card. I feel like I did. I feel like I did. All right, well, you ever had those moments where you're laying in bed and you remember something that you did like four or five years ago and you just like hate yourself for it? That's what I'm having. I'm going to have to go back to that video and check that. <laughs> okay, anyway, moving on. So essentially, if you're just able to get like an early knockout on a GX or EX, that means you're going to be able to get an additional prize card and just get yourself closer to winning the game. And the next card we're going to take a look at is going to be Lucky Egg. So this is a new card out of Sword and Shield, and essentially what it allows you to do is draw until you have seven if... Uh, one of your Pokemon is knocked out by damage from an opponent's attack. So that's going to help you build build up your hand size a little as well. So there's just pretty much a lot of stuff in here that's going to help you build up your hand size, which is really nice. And finally, we're going to take a look at a skateboard. Uh, like I said, this is really in here for Jirachi, but it can go on Cramorant too. Uh, it can also go on Oricorio. It just pretty much takes down the retreat cost by one, and it can retreat if it's asleep or paralyzed. Of course, Jirachi goes to sleep, so you can get around that. And then we have Ultra Space. This is just going to allow you to search out your Bicephalon. It's really what that's going to do. And then we have three Acrobike. This is really good because it's just going to kind of speed up your deck. My phone's going off like crazy. People leave me alone. All right. So you can look at the top two cards of your deck, put one of them in your hand, discard the other one. Just kind of helps you with a little more consistency. And then we also have Great Catcher. This is going to allow you to bring up a GX or EX if you discard two other cards from your hand. So that's going to be really good. Just bring us something up and pick it off and go from there. Next up, we have Quick Ball. So Quick Ball is really good because you pitch a card and you can search for a basic Pokemon. So that means you can search absolutely everything in the deck with Quick Ball. So that's really good. Uh, we also have Switch. This card is going to allow you to switch. So that means, you know, if you don't have the escape board, you can get around Jirachi's Asleep. Okay, so it kept bugging me. I had to go back and check. I indeed did say that if you knock out a one prize attacker with beast bringer attached that you take an additional prize. oh my god oh dylan you moron okay so let's see where were we so we took a look at switch last and i think that's about it if i if i missed a card i apologize i i, I did that just kept bugging me okay so obviously guys if you couldn't tell from right here we have 14 energy and they are of course fire energy because why else would you play anything else outside of beast energy in this deck so yeah, uh, that is the deck, guys. Uh, the strategy is pretty much you fireball circus. You have stuff in here to allow you to build up your hand size and you know just kind of get you know re like resources back and such. You have Zacian for like early game and really tight spots, and then you have Oracorio GX. So whenever your Pokemon does go down, you can just get an additional three cards from your deck to your hand. Uh, Cramrant is going to be in there, so that way you can just pick something off the bench. Jirachi, of course, is going to be doing Jirachi things. We all know what Jirachi can do and how good it is. Uh, and obviously, Bicephalon GX is another attacker, but really it's going to be in there for that burst GX attack. Victini is a resource recovery card. And, of course, you just have all the other typical generic fire stuff in here, guys. The deck's really simple to play. You just have a, a, like a couple extra things going in the deck, but overall the deck really plays itself. So I obviously... 
I've already apologized. I want to do it again. I know, guys, I have really been trying my best to up the quality, but my computer hates me. My game hates me. And so, unfortunately, I have not been able to do that. So, yeah. Um, to those of you who subscribed and, you know, you stick around and you put up with my ignorance and the, the, you know, setbacks and such, I do appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. And we are sitting here at a thousand plus with this monstrosity nonsense happening left and right. Uh, but I am definitely 110% trying, guys, to improve on this situation. I have something in the works right now. And hopefully here in a few weeks, we can get something going and solve all this once and for all. So that's going to do it for me, guys. Uh, I'm going to go celebrate my birthday with my parents. So thank you all so much for watching. I love you guys so much. I never take you guys for granted. You guys mean the world to me. You're why I'm able to do this. And have a fantastic day. Catch you guys in the next one. This is Evan Pokemon TCG. Signing out. Don't forget to like, follow, and obey.